My personal bucket list of movies is quite large, but you need something to watch tonight. So I'm going to help you narrow down some choices and give you a quick list because life is too short. Number 10. The 1956 semi-fictional musical The King and I, starring Yul Brenner and Deborah Carr, and a Cinemascope 55mm masterpiece about a teacher in the royal court of Siam, etc., etc. Number 9. The 1960 Alfred Hitchcock horror Psycho. When you go on a road trip, sometimes you might find yourself at the sketchy Bates Motel, a place that mother would not approve. Number 8. The 1988 Tom Hanks dramedy Big. A magical look at becoming an adult. It will make you laugh and dream. Number 7. Monty Python has several classics, but the Holy Grail is the one you should see, if you could see only one. It is enshrined permanently into pop culture, and you may not even be aware. Number 6. When I think of a timeless epic adventure, that would be the biopic adventures of T.E. Lawrence, also known as Lawrence of Arabia. At 3 hours and 50 minutes, shot in 70mm Super Panavision, it is a commitment but worth every second to learn about this man's life. Number 4 and number 5 are Humphrey Bogart's Casablanca and Maltese Falcon. While the treasure of the Sierra Madre is even better than these two, it deserves its own separate video dedicated to it. With these two, however, you will learn what stuff that dreams are made. Number 3 the 1952 musical Singing in the Rain. You want talent? This film packs in dancing, singing, and everything else that the talkies brought with it. Number two, Amelie. A fantastical romantic look into the world around us, reminiscent of Audrey Hepburn movies, but with a more magical spin. Do yourself a favor and watch the subtitled version and not the dubbed. And for number one on this list is surprisingly a German film. This is because before the propaganda department weaponized the film industry in 1933, the filmmakers were decades ahead of anything coming out of Hollywood. Fritz Lang's 1931 thriller film, M, starring Peter Lorre, and also the third movie in this list that he appears in. And almost 100 years later, this black and white film is still a spooky depiction of a child serial killer. My original viewing was an English dub, which was decently dubbed by Peter Lorre, who was bilingual. Over the years, it has been re-released several times and restored to full length. Watching it again, but in the original German, is a real treat. Please check it out and tell me your thoughts on this. One thing, I need your help to make my first 1,000 subscribers. Hit the subscribe button and I'll continue making more content like this. However, if you think my list is full of poop, then thumb in your vote and tell me in the comments below.